Hello everyone, I just thought I'd hop on here. There's a few things that I've been getting at night. When I say getting, I mean like uh, messages uh, about this journey. And so I just thought I would talk about it. I also uh, just wanna say, you know, I know a lot of women are not having like a very good time with this, but I also wanna let you know that, you know, you were chosen at such a time as this and everything is gonna be okay. You know, there's, um, there's a level of confidence that we have to obtain in all of this. Star, you can't be here. And uh, when I say that, I mean like, the ladies going through this type of pregnancy have to obtain some sort of confidence, a level of confidence to be okay with showing your bump, um, your bump to others. You know, if you, if you hide it all the time, then you're just simply hiding the pregnancy. And, you know, like, we need to own what we're going through. We need to um, accept it. And, um, you know, I understand that those people around you may not accept it, but don't let that hinder who you are and what you're going through. You know, some people hide it so that people don't, I mean, so that others don't ask questions. You know, I get that. I've been there. I was there last year, kind of <clears throat> at the start and towards the middle. Like, I would never post a picture on uh, social media. I mean, I think I did around month 8th or 9th and then around Christmas. And, you know, uh, I just... I get it, you know, it's not easy to hold the confidence and strength because honestly, you can get some strange messages or um, comments and they're not always very good. You know, but just overall, whenever you're going out in public, you know, wear that prenatal, um, the pregnancy shirt. You know, I, I feel like I've been wearing pregnancy shirts since I'm in mean, the beginning because I was quite small um, prior to being pregnant. Um, but I just, um, also wanted to bring up that, you know, I've recently went to like a family thing, family gathering and an 11 year old was there. She's, um, like a child of a family friend and the 11 year old just kept staring at me. I don't, I didn't know why or whatever. Um, but I just kind of approached her and I was like, what grade are you in? And, um just got to know her a little bit and she's like how long have you been pregnant and I was like I've actually been pregnant for a year and a half um I it was like back in July that I had this conversation with her and she has such childlike faith she's like oh my goodness like that must be really difficult for you and um I just thought that was a great response however in a I um, mean a few days after that I guess she had told her mom at that point that I had been pregnant for this long and she um, uh, had she ended up calling my mom and my mom was like, how do I even explain to this? How do I explain this? You know, I have never heard of a woman being pregnant beyond nine months. And basically I was told not to bring it up, um, to be careful who I speak to about it. And I have always been. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to just keep putting it under the car carpet, you know, like throwing it under, under the rug and ignoring that. I mean, I do wish more people knew about this pregnancy because it's a real thing and um, it's something that <clears throat> we should be more aware of. But in order to be more aware of it, we have to expand our consciousness and there's only a a certain number of women who have done that you know I do believe that we have to merge our physical self with our with this pregnancy we have to be grounded we have to accept this pregnancy just as it is and be okay with it you know this pregnancy is is like <clears throat> higher dimensional that's what I've always that's what I believe the whole time you know we live in this 3d world and um, but I would consider this pregnancy 5d you know like um higher dimensional it's very unique it's um i would say most of the women i know on this journey 
have had a spiritual um, like awakening or like spiritual connection to God and they have done soul work to get to this point to have this higher vibrational pregnancy. <clears throat> they have come to know what unconditional love is. It is without condition. It is loving beyond all circumstances. You know, and I'm thankful that I've been um, meeting more women. When I say meeting, I mean, I, I do visit them online because, you know, just the way uh, we're living right now, we don't really visit um, in person too much. And uh, <clears throat> I do find that um, the conversations are very good and very helpful. You know, we're exchanging ideas of what we've been taking and uh, such um, stuff like that. I'm actually going to try maca, M-A-C-A, in hopes of that helping. Also, ladies, I did go ahead and get my hands on some HCG. I don't take a lot of it. It does say like 10 drops um, twice a day, you know, I'll take like five or six. My mom was like, take it three times a day. <laughs> I'm like, mom, my body has to adjust to it. I've been taking that since probably, um, probably July. Um, but, you know, I did hesitate to take it just because I haven't had it throughout my whole pregnancy. So, you know, my body hasn't been producing it. The babies haven't been pr producing it. So I just figured maybe it wouldn't be a good thing. But I actually do feel whenever I do take it, the little one just receives it. Um, throughout this whole pregnancy, I feel uh, when he's eating, when he's drinking, and like literally everything. So um, I do feel it. It's been a beneficial thing for me to do, you know, so, um, again, I, I do believe that we have to also continue to raise our vibration and help, like, when we're raising our vibration and we're staying out of the woe is me mindset, we're able to help, help the baby, you know, ground the baby. When I say ground, I mean, I don't think that they like to be in the womb just as much as we don't like them to be in the womb this long, you know? And um, the more positive and uplifting we can be for them, it's helping them, you know? They do feel that they, I don't know if anyone's ever known this, but the emotion of the baby <clears throat> is also, I mean, the emotion, the emotion that you experience is the emotion that they experience. So when you're positive, they are positive. You know, they're being uplifted. There's been studies that show that they actually do, can cry in the womb. You know, we don't want them crying in the womb. <laughs> we don't want them upset. So it is best to continue to do that. You know, and I do want, just want to say too, like, there's something that's going on, as you all can see in the news and everything. There's just a lot of um, chaos and confusion and a lot of mistrust, I would say, in the government right now. And honestly, a lot of those negative agendas had to come to the surface so that we could remove them. We don't need any of this um, dark agenda that that has been coming against humanity. You know, there is the cabal, and they have been coming against humanity hundreds of years. You know, in the past um, presidencies, uh, I would say, like Bush administration, Obama administration, um, Clinton administration, all of that, like that's part, of, they've been part of the cabal. And, you know, I just want to say that lightly because whenever you do start talking about the truth, videos do to get taken down. But what I'm saying is these negative agendas, they have to be lifted. Like child slavery, um, uh, I was gonna say child trafficking. And um, I was gonna say like, Anything that's been done to harm humanity has to be removed. These children that are coming in are going to help shift the planet. You know, like, like for instance, the human re resonance is rising every single day. I mean, I don't say every single day, but it's rising. It's, uh, <clears throat> it, it gives off like 7.8 hertz, but it's rising. They're saying that like the planet, I mean, we are rising and those darker agendas are falling away. And we see them crumbling, you know, just even with um, Biden and the Afghanistan 
um, stuff that has happened, uh, all that just, I mean, just, I guess you could say the, the um, intention of what he has had has risen to the surface and is in like, people are realizing what his intentions were and they were not for America. They were not for the innocent. They were not for the women. You know, those, um, I would say the Afghans, the women are, they have been in hiding ever since the Taliban uh, um, has taken over Kabul, which is funny that that word is Kabul because the cabal, you know, how, how ironic that those uh, coincide nearly. But uh, anyway, we just have to, we have to stay positive and, and continue to pray that, you know, we continue to rise up and, you know, we have to take a stand. We can't just let certain um, people that have been controlling us for so long to continue to control us. You know, I've been kind of um, afraid that they would uh, require, I don't want to say afraid, but that they would require pregnant women to have the vaccine or the jab, sorry. Um, and I just don't, I don't want that. Like, that is not okay. Uh, you know, my, my mom wants me to have the pregnancy in hospital and I do hesitate to have the pregnancy in the hospital because I haven't had the prenatal care that most women obtain. So I have to be very careful. Like my mom has already come up with like some story, storyline, um, to, for it to be okay. Cause she, I was going to say, she just has a profession where her license could be, um, revoked. It, it's just a very sensitive subject. And I was like, mom, okay, I'm going to have the baby <laughs> at home. Just, let's just have, I'm just going to have a home. And, uh, she doesn't go for that. She's like, if something were to go wrong, um, it could be bad for her and you know, her career. You know, and I get it. I'm just hoping and praying and I, I know that everything will be okay. You know, um, again, I do, I have been having a lot of dreams about, um, the pregnancy and the baby is, and just everything that's going on. And I've seen the baby born and, um, some really great stuff. And, um, I don't know. It's just, I was gonna say, I, I did meet a lady who, um, uses like, I would say a higher percentage of her brain. She, um, has had a lot of training to do that. And I hadn't, I had gotten contact with her cause I'm doing something on the side of work and meeting, um, meeting, uh, people and stuff. But, um, I was like, I told her about my situation. I've been being pregnant for over a year and a half now. I just had, I just spoke to her over the weekend. And she's like, she could see everything. She's like, the baby's nearly complete. And, um, but because I haven't told you, but I'm like a hundred percent sure that I'm having twins. I'm a twin myself. Um, but she said one of them looks like, um, they're sucking their thumb. And then the other one is just, is just chilling there. You know, and <clears throat> I didn't suck my my thumb when I was little, um, but I just thought that was so cute, you know. Um, honestly, a lot of women who have this type of pregnancy um, are found to have multiples. And, you know, um, I also found, I uh, got in contact with a lady this weekend who's from Haiti and um, she's having the same type of pregnancy. And I'll say that <clears throat> the baby's daddy is from Haiti. So I just, I thought that was really cool that God brought us together, um, with that connection, you know, um, who knows, you know, we don't ever know the real reason for these pregnancies, but it's pretty awesome finding more women with, uh, similar connections. Anyway, thank you all. And I know that I spoke fast, but, um, just wanted to hop on here real quickly.